Welcome back. Now we're going to work on the Hua Rong form. This form has 29 movements, so fewer than the last form, which had 37. And this one is named after the youth group, Hua Rong, which originated in the Silla dynasty. So let's get started. This one we have a new ready stance called Ready Stance C. We've got feet together, hands forming kind of a triangle or arrowhead shape. So down in front of you. So from here, our first move is going to be on sitting stance. We're going to step out with our left foot and a palm block with our left hand. So in the past we've called it palm strike. Um, it's actually officially a palm block, which is pretty much the same movement anyway. So uh, no, no need to change anything there. Um, but this form starts with a block, uh, just like most other forms do. So as you can see, I step out and pee out. Hey! On my sitting stance here, nice strong elbow strike. Now from here, I'm going to execute two middle section punches. So right and then left. Now I'm going to step and step into an L stance with a twin forearm block. From here, I'm going to bring this right hand back and uppercut with my left hand. So bring it around, uppercut, still on L stance. Now I'm going to step back a little bit with my right foot, load up my right hand at my hip, and step out a little into side punch, also on L stance. From here, I'm going to step back with my right foot and execute a fast overhead knife hand strike with my right hand. Uh, so when I step back, I kind of end up in a mini L stance. So you can see I've got a mini L stance here. Feet are still facing um, at 90 degree angles, but now my feet are mostly together. From here, I'm going to step out with my left foot and punch on walking stance, middle section. From here, I take my left foot and bring it toward the front. I'm going to do a low uh, outer forearm guarding block on walking stance. Now I've got a step forward to a middle section punch with my right hand. From here, uh, we've got a grab and kick and knife hand strike. So the way we're going to divide that up is our first move. We're going to bring up our left foot most of the way to our right and grab our right hand with our left hand. So I'll show from this angle, I'm going to uh, step up with my left hand, grab my right. So imagine maybe somebody has grabbed my right hand. I want to grab onto them, make sure they can't escape. Now the next move, I'm going to pull both hands toward my left, toward the back, and side kick. And after the side kick, I land on a knife hand strike with my right hand. So let's do that all together. So from my right punch, I'm going to grab and step up. Now I'll do the side kick. And as I land in the side kick, I'm going to do the knife hand strike. So here I am, striking with my right hand. I'm going to execute two more middle section punches on walking stance toward the front. Right now I'm on L stance. Now I'm going to move into walking stance. And two. So those are my movements forward. Now I'm going to turn around using my left foot, coming around counterclockwise. Nice chamber here and out into a knife hand guarding block. From here, I step forward and spear hand. So we can uh, guard that elbow with the left hand, have it there for support. From here, I'm going to turn around, knife hand guarding block, still in L stance, now with my left foot forward, so it's called a right L stance. Most of the weight is on my right leg. Now I'm going to execute two high roundhouse kicks or turning kicks. And these kicks are actually going to be at angles. So I'm not kicking straight this way or straight this way. I'm kicking in between at this angle here. So yeah, not quite this way. I'm actually going off the line at a 45 degree angle. So this first kick here, kick. Then I can set it down straight in front of me. And with my back leg, now instead of going straight this way or straight this way, I'm going here. So this is where I aim to hit. And set it down in front of me, knife hand guarding block. So 
Let's take a step back to show that full speed. So one and two. Now from here, I'm going to bring my left foot around into low outer forearm block on walking stance. Now from here, I'm actually going to pull my left foot back, bring this left arm over at an angle, so not straight this way, not straight this way, at an angle in between to wind it up. Now I'm coming back into more of an L stance or back stance and reverse punch. This punch is actually going straight back in the direction you're going. So now I'm going to bring my right foot around, bring this arm that's out punching around as well, off to that 45 degree angle, and reverse punch, middle section. Once again, straight in the direction we've been facing, a little bit different from how we've been practicing. This is the official way. And one more step, so this will be number three. Cross. So one more step. So punching straight back. Now from here, I'm going to, without switching my feet, just sink into a low X block. So, um, yeah, I won't be sw switching my feet. I'm just lunging forward a little bit and sinking into it on walking stance. So this low X block here. And from here, I'm going to do a two part turn. So first I step with my right then I slide a little bit to follow with my left and elbow strike in the direction I'm going. So we've got one elbow strike coming straight back in the direction that you were facing, the other one coming straight back from your body, so at a 90 degree angle from there. So from here, one, two. So this will be on a, a walking stance, or sorry, a back stance or an L stance. So from my block. Now from here, I'm going to step across with my left foot, step inside, and two blocks. One is a low block, it's a higher block with the inner forearm. So two blocks, right hand comes up first, left hand is low first, my feet are together. And now the next move, I just switch my hands. So now my left is high, right is low. Now I'm going to step forward with my left foot, my fat guarding block on L stands. And now I step step to the other side, one, and that's the last move of the form. So that's quad wrong. If you're having trouble remembering which move it is at the end, if you're having trouble remembering which move it is at the end, this one begins with knife hands in the ready stance and it ends with knife hands in the ready stance. 